So, in Skull and Bones, update 1.3 has caused a lot of controversy. Some players are happy with the changes, some players are very frustrated, because if we go to the helm, you are going to see that I've got a bunch of manufacturers that are out of funding, and if I go, for an example, to a level 3 and fund it, it's going to cost like up to 5,000, whereas this level 6 down here, if we have a look, this uh, costs 21,000, and I think it goes up to like 40 or 50,000 or something crazy just to fund the level 10. So silver is going to be running out very, very fast, but I can tell you after update 1.3, if you make it all the way over to the Dutchman's camp, the old, like if you are familiar with this, the old way of farming silver still works, despite them saying in the patch notes that it's not going to, because they basically said vendors are going to be synchronized across servers, so you can no longer server switch. But at the Dutchman's camp, if we have a look at my current cargo, you are going to see that I have purchased 24 paintings, I've got 22 brandy, 36 gin, and I have 15 wine. So if we go to this rogue trader, so remember we're at Dutchman's camp, right at the bottom right of the map, and if we talk to this trader, they have absolutely nothing left because I bought all of their stock. Whereas if we go and we quit to the main menu, when we are at the main menu, if we wait for 30 seconds, if we then go back into the game after counting to 30, make sure you're waiting about 30 seconds, when you return onto the island, it's going to spawn you back at Dutchman's camp. You are going to have a different rogue trader. So if we come over here and we speak to this person, if we go into Let's Trade, you are going to see that we can buy another 15 paintings. On this island, there is another place the trader can spawn. It will be up over here. So you run through this section and over where this little camp place is, that's another area they can spawn. But what we're going to do again is we're going to quit to the main menu. We're going to find another server. And again, what we can do is we can find the trader, which again is on the right hand side as you come up from the shore. So we speak to this person and once we've spoken to them, you'll see that they've got 23 gin. So after buying all of that, I've now got 282,000. I think I've spent about 13,000. If we go to my cargo, you'll see that I've got 39 paintings. I've got 22 brandy, 59 gin and 15 wine. Now, if you have a look where it says wine commodities, you're going to see a flag. That's the Compagnie. Then you have the Dutch. So what you need to do is try and find an outpost to go to that's going to be for the opposite faction. So for the DMC or the Dutch, you want to go to the French, which is the Compagnie. And for the Compagnie, you want to go to the Dutch. So if we go to our map and we come over to the left-hand side, we are going to have a look. And right here, Carl Mangrove, there is a corrupt Compagnie camp. So you're looking for those and the DMC ones on the other side of the map up in the East Indies. So fast traveling over to Carl Mangrove, you are going to see a corrupt Compagnie officer here. And if I talk to this person, we go to the buy and sell, we go along to the sell tab. You are going to see an up arrow for gin and also for the paintings. So we are going to make money on these commodities, but don't sell them straight away. What you want to do is look around the outpost for another camp. So here we go. Over on the left hand side, we have a trader here. These outposts are going to change who's here every single day. It'll be a reset time to 2 a.m. in the UK. But we go into trade and we can buy uh, some ornate pistols off this guy. And then we go to the sell tab and look at that. The gin, we've got double up arrows. So instead of getting 179 each one from the guy at the front, we're getting 364. So if we go into this and we sell all of them, we're getting 21,000 silver. But not only that, something that's new with update 1.3 is if you look at the bottom right, we have the option to press Y and cycle the inventory. So this is the stuff that's currently on my ship. And if we change, this is the stuff that I have in my warehouse. So you're going to see that gin, there's still, that I've got eight in my warehouse that I can sell. So I'm going to sell that. That's another 2,900. And then everything else is bad. Weapons and things are pointless to sell here realistically you would look for double up arrows or double green arrows because that means you're going to sell it for the most money you possibly can and when you are buying you want to look for the double green arrows as well but as long as there's at least one green arrow buying and selling you are going to like buy for a lower price and sell for a higher price so there's always going to be profit so with these uncut diamonds i can sell all of these that's twenty six and a half thousand. and then also we have a bunch of frankincense we can sell that and that is all profit either i found it like whilst i'm sailing and killing ships or i have bought it for a cheap price and you are going to see with all of that inventory i have now got three hundred and sixty-five thousand silver 
So all you want to do is go around to the different outposts. You want to like, interact with all the vendors. You want to see what they are selling. You're looking for the corrupt compagnie officers, the corrupt DMC. You're basically just looking for the traders. You're buying at a low price. You're selling at a high price. And you can still go down to the Dutchman's camp and server switch. That is still a valid thing after update 1.3. And that is the best way to make silver after update 1.3 in Skull and Bones. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the update in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.